about, you know, we incorporate so that we create a distance, a legal distance between ourselves and the film entity in terms of liability, in terms of um, injury or breach of contract or payment or things like that. Um, talk about the maintaining the corporate veil, what that means and how a corporate veil could be pierced. Okay. Uh, piercing the corporate veil is a legal term. Basically what it means is if a company wants to get to your personal assets, they say, you know what, this, this LLC that you've set up is really just a sham. It's you. Everybody knows that it's just you. It's not, there's, there's nothing behind it. Um, in, in that case, you know, they're looking to see whether your company is properly capitalized. In other words, are you, um, is there anything actually going through the LLC? Uh, which is why it's so important to keep personal funds not commingled with a production company funds. I mean, that's got to be very clearly demarcated. Um, I think that's the most important factor in piercing the corporate veil is there, there's got to be a real distinction between what you're doing with the business of the LLC and what you're doing in your personal life. But there are formalities like you have to have a board and officers and annual meetings and minutes. I mean, I've seen filmmakers who create a, a corporation and mm -hmm. you know their board meeting is an annual phone call to their officers. Well, that's why we, we like filmmakers to do an LLC because there are so many less corporate formalities. Um, the LLC is really beneficial for people who um, don't have a traditional corporate setup and that applies directly to to documentary filmmakers. Let's say, um, you know, you're going, let's use the example from before, you're going into business with your, with your partner, you're both gonna produce this film. Um, one of you is contributing $40,000. Um, you, let's say, you're contributing $10,000, your friend is contributing 40, but you've decided, I'm gonna do 90% of the work. Even though I'm only contributing 10,000, dollars, which is 80% of the budget, let's say. This is a low budget documentary. <laughs> um, even though you're only pr uh, contributing 20% of the budget, you're doing 90% of the work. So it doesn't make sense that you should only get 20% of the profits from the film. Um, traditionally with a, with a corporation, your initial cap capital contribution is going to line up with what you get in the back end. So with an LLC, you're able to tailor a special, uh, basically create the model, the business model, the way you, you feel appropriate, you know, 50% to 50 of net profits to investors, um, of which you would get, you know, maybe your share, 20%, but also 50% on the producer side. And for that, maybe you get 90% because you're doing 90% 90, 90 of the work. Um, so it's much easier to work with an LLC in that way because uh, there are default rules for, for an LLC, but it's very easy to, as long as you're working with, uh, I guess, an attorney or somebody uh, who is very comfortable with this stuff, uh, it's, it's much easier to change the rules.